Well, the DX Artisan line by Hot Toys definitely has me intrigued. But what are five figures that I would like to see come about from this line? Let's talk about that. Well, guys, first off, it's great to be back in front of the camera. I haven't done a video like this in quite a while. Uh, so first and foremost, what is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and drop a like on this video. I would very much appreciate it. Well, guys, as I mentioned in the opener of this video, this DX Artisan line definitely has me intrigued. I haven't been the biggest fan of rooted hair in the past. I've said it to you guys many times in videos and on live streams. But after getting that WB100 Wonder Woman, I was definitely very impressed with that. So I'm really intrigued to see what else Hot Toys does with this line. I have pre-ordered the Anakin overseas as well as the DX Artisan Joker as well. So here's my list of figures I would like to see from this line. Now, guys, you may have a different list. Definitely comment that down below as you watch this video and feel free to share your thoughts on my list. Now, guys, my list, this isn't 100% concrete. This is just what I would like to see. And also, guys, I kind of base this on the fact that it seems like Hot Toys is doing some stuff that has already been done in the past and kind of kicking it up a notch. So far, once again, we've seen Anakin, we've seen the Heath Ledger Joker, and more recently, we saw the Scarlet Witch from Endgame, which obviously they've done many versions of Scarlet Witch as well. So I have based that fact on my decision-making process here with my list, but I think I may have a little bit of everything here for you guys, but let's just jump into it, guys. So the first one, of course, has to be the T-800 Terminator 2. Now, as you can see, guys, I do have a picture here of the DX-13, a very sought-after figure from Hot Toys, but a pretty old release at this point. Now, of course, guys, when we're talking DX Artisan, I want to see high quality materials. I was very, very disappointed to see that the DX Artisan Anakin did not list real leather in the description. That's very disappointing. And we're going to call something an Artisan product. I want to see more. So for this one, guys, of course, I want to see full leather on this guy. Leather pants, leather coat, really the whole nine yards. I think that's kind of essential for this piece. And of course, the rooted hair, you know, the rooted hair is something that I'm recently getting into. I was really against it because I was really used to the crap that we got from Hot Toys in the past. But I'm very glad that I gave the WB100 Wonder Woman a chance because I really do like that figure. I think it's a great step in the right direction. And I'm very interested to check out further things from Hot Toys in this line. So that's why I'm doing this video. So absolutely would love to see rooted hair, full leather outfit. I'm going to go through the photos here, guys. I do have some movie stills for all of these figures, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for in this line. So moving on to the next photo, and I will be zooming in, guys. Sorry, these photos are a bit smaller. As you can see, beautiful image here of Arnold towards the end of the film of Terminator 2. Again, got to have that battle damage sculpt. But guys, I think with this one, you could do more. Even third-party figures have done it, guys. So I would love to see a battle damage option and a swap out for a non-battle damage version. So a different sculpt, different coat different swap out pieces to make the battle damage and not battle damage version of course in a perfect world i would love to see two bodies but we know lately hot toys hasn't been too generous with that at least with the kenobi vader they did give us this option here with a half a battle damage version half a regular version so i would be happy if they did that with this one i love this look with the model 1887 shotgun here with the glasses obviously he's got john connor here i mean if hot toys ever wanted to throw us a bone there i would take that with rooted hair as well but again Rooted hair would look absolutely incredible with this figure. And I think having that swap out option would be really great. So really, guys, they've done it before. As you can see, this is the DX10 in front of us. So it would really be an accumulation of both of these figures put into one. Better head sculpts, better materials, more proportional body. Just everything overall upgraded for that DX Artisan lines. So that's what I would love to see, guys. I feel like a lot of you guys would be on board with this one. We have really been begging for a new Terminator figure for a long, long time. We were hoping Inart was going to do it. Maybe they will in the future. Haven't heard anything from that. But this had to make it onto my list because this is one I would really like to see. Because personally, right now, all I have is the present Toys T-800 in my collection. So, Hot Toys, if you're going to do DX Artisan, do it big and give us a T-800. But next, guys, moving on to our next one, we do have Jack Sparrow. Now, as you can see, guys, we do have a photo of Jack Sparrow here. I really don't personally care which version of Jack Sparrow it is. I just want a DX Artisan Jack Sparrow, period. I recently got the DX-15, and it really is a fantastic figure, but the hair, the rooted hair in particular, is very bad. 
It's all over the place. It gets knotted up very easily. It looks very cheap. And as you can see, guys, yes, he has messy hair here. And I'll zoom in a little bit, as you can see. Uh, but there's a bit of wave to it. And I feel like with that wool rooted hair, it really would do this hairstyle justice. So absolutely, I think Hot Toys needs to jump into it if they can. I know licensing is difficult, it seems, on this character lately. But I feel like Hot Toys really could do a home run with this one if they go all out, give it the DX Artisan treatment. Once again, real leather, better materials. Give us a bunch of different accessories if you're going to call it DX Artisan. Switch it up. We've seen in the past, again, guys, moving on, I have a photo here of the DX15. Again, this is a great looking figure, but even here in this promotional photo, the hair looks really bad. It looks very messy. It's kind of all over over the place and that's that cheap crappy nylon hair or whatever the material is that hot toys is using i would love to see them once again give it the dx artisan treatment and really do this character even more justice than they already have because once again this figure is pretty dang good i would just love to see it get that dx artisan treatment and give us something truly truly special uh but next guys moving on everybody's gonna be clapping from the bleachers on this one i know a couple people in particular are gonna be really excited about this one when i talk about it and guys that that is going to be the winter soldier from winter soldier uh this one i feel like is a must um for many reasons this figure is very outdated uh but this is one of those figures that's very notorious for issues with the pleather you really very often more often than not see uh people putting up this figure for sale with issues with the pleather flaking really it just completely falls apart and then people are having to pay uh customizers to do custom full leather outfits so why not uh, kind of give this figure the full spa treatment? Give it some of that beautiful wool rooted hair. I feel like this hairstyle is really perfect for that. As you can see, it's very loose. It hangs over his face. You could really do so much with that wool rooted hair. And I think it would look pretty fantastic on this figure. And obviously, guys, full leather on the outfit or some sort of synthetic material that won't break down over time. I think it's certainly doable if customizers can make it Hot Toys can please hot toys do the winter soldier let's take a quick look back guys at the original winter soldier that everybody's buying despite all of the issues um guys i would love to see this redone once again and i think a lot of people would be really excited for this there's a lot of opportunities for all these different accessories all of his guns knives captain america's shield as you saw there really just a lot of opportunity to really go crazy on this one give him the goggles maybe a swap out sculpt like they did before with kind of those raccoon eyes as we call it really guys there's a lot a lot of potential here and i think this would be a huge seller for them despite it being limited it would sell out very quickly and it'd be very sought after because this is certainly the definitive bucky for a lot of people so this one had to go on my list guys i definitely would be super excited to check this one out um another one guys that i think is long overdue and and this character is very monumental in film and very monumental to a lot of people's childhoods of course, I'm talking about the Christopher Reeve Superman, guys. This one is very, very special. Um, as you guys know, there is a couple Hot Toys figures for this iteration of Superman. However, they are very outdated. I actually had this one recently in my collection. I ended up selling it off in hopes that maybe in the future somebody will tackle this, whether it's In Art or Hot Toys. Whether it's In Art or Hot Toys. Surprise, motherfucker. But because of that, guys, I had to put this one on my DX Artisan list. I mean, it would really be perfect, guys, to have that signature Christopher Reeve curl on the front, wool rooted hair, the full nine yards, or even like Inart did it recently with their Cavill Superman, sculpted hair with that wool rooted hair curl on the front. However way they did it, I think this would be an absolutely incredible option for a DX Artisan figure. And I think it would be a welcome update with newer paint apps, a slightly updated sculpt. The old sculpt is pretty dang good, but I think there's a lot they could do with this, guys. And once again, this is just such an iconic character. It really is. Here's a photo of the original Hot Toy here. Again, not a bad figure. It definitely has aged pretty well. However, brought to today's standards with that DX Artisan treatment, give it some cool accessories. They could give it a really cool display base like they did with the original with that Fortress of Solitude base. There's really so much they could do with it, and this would be very, very special to a lot of people. So I had to put this one on my list because I think this would be really cool. Now, guys, finally, believe it or not, there is no Star Wars on my list. And there's a reason for that. I think I want to do an all Star Wars video for the DX Artisan line. So because of that, I just wanted to do a general video for stuff that I would like to see that's a bit more unique than the typical stuff that we get. Um, so moving on to my final one, guys, this may surprise some of you, uh, but my final choice for a DX Artisan figure I would love to see is, yes, Black Widow from the 2012 Avengers. Guys, I really do love the endgame Black Widow from Hot Toys, but I'd be lying if I say 
that's better than the 2012 look. The 2012 Avengers Black Widow is my favorite look. And I think if Hot Toys went back to the drawing board, this really could be a redemption story for them with this figure. And I think a lot of that will be seen with this DX Artisan line. I think they're going to go back to the drawing board with a lot of these original figures that they use this nylon hair on and kind of give it a second look. Obviously, we saw with the Scarlet Witch, they did give us a new version of the character that we haven't seen from them. However, they've done Scarlet Witch in the past with rooted hair, and it was really bad. So this is one I think could use a redemption arc, updated proportions on the body, updated suit textures, and this beautiful short red hair that she had in this first Avengers film. I think this would be absolutely fantastic, and I think a lot of people would love to see this. I'm really on this 2012 Avengers kick lately. As you can see, I got my buddy Hulk here. I really, really would love to see this. We recently got that Mark 7 from Hot Toys, so... To have these all together, some updated 2012 Avengers figures would be absolutely beautiful. And just to give you guys a look at the original one here, is it absolutely terrible for its age? No. But this is a photo taken by Hot Toys. Obviously, the hair has not held up well over time, guys. I've seen recent photos. It looks really bad. I really think the proportions are awful in this one as well. I just think there's a lot that they could do to make this figure really grand. And putting it under that DX Artisan name tag, I think, is the way to go. So that is why she had to make it on my list. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's great to be in front of the camera again. Once again, guys, I will be doing more lists like this because I'm very excited and very intrigued about this artisan line. So once again, share your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree with any of the figures on my list or do you have your own list? Again, guys, when you have to narrow it down to just five, it becomes very specific. Obviously, there's a lot more that I would love to see. Again, for Star Wars, I had so many ideas. I'm like, I may just do a Star Wars video alone. So stay tuned for that. I will record that at some point. Um, but guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. As always, subscribe to the channel and consider dropping a like on this video. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and I'm out.